Hey there, everybody. I'm Seashow, and welcome to, uh, what are we up to? Episode 6, I think? Pretty sure we're on 6. 5, 6, one of those two. Pretty sure we're on 6. Episode 6 for our Pixelmon Let's Play. Uh, so, as you can see, I am joined again by the Lightfires99. Uh, Knife Masters will hopefully be with us in the next episode, but not for this one. Um, we had a little bit of excitement in between episodes. We actually had two legendary, uh, we had two legendary spawns. We had three, but Suicune was well, we visible. Did, yeah, we couldn't find Suicune. It, it just, we could not find it. It was really bizarre to find. We had two of them spawn at pretty much the exact same time, though, which was kind of funny. Not the exact same. One, Lugia spawned first, and then Kyogre spawned very shortly after while we were still trying to catch Lugia. We did not catch the Lugia. It, New Whirlwind. It was kind of an asshole. <laughs> I I paralyzed it at least six or seven <laughs> times every time. Whirlwind. And if you have already looked at my party list, then you will notice that I did manage to catch the Kyogre with a quick ball at full health. It was beautiful and not something that happens very often, so I am thrilled. I knew those quick balls would come in handy. At least I can still say that the only legendary I've caught was with a Pokeball. I could say that. But, but I can say that I have a legendary. I'm going to put Kyogre in a pond, and it's going to float with me. Because Sploosh. Oh yeah. And they definitely have the models for these really well. Like, they look awesome. The, and they've got, like, the animation where they, like, do the wing flapping while they swim, too. It's really nice. Alright, so we now have a nice level 70. Uh, so that I can now fight other legendaries if I need to without having to rely on a friggin' quick ball. Alright, so from here, uh, I did go ahead and get a few levels on my Pokemon and whatnot. We've had a little bit of time pass. And uh, now at this point, I need to keep training up. On the plus side, I will not have to look for... What is it? I won't have to look for a dragon skill for Seedra now. I was so upset whenever it said beach biome first. I was really hoping it was the sunflower plains that I've been hanging out in. Oh man, I would love a fuck. I would love a Rayquaza. That would be amazing. And that's mainly why I'm sitting out here. I'm actually near one myself right now. So if it spawns, it could be either one of us. Don't do this. Go somewhere else. <laughs> but this is where I'm training at. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, this is also where I'm training at. Jump Luff and Skip Loom are beautiful for Quilava. <clears throat> yeah, I'm training Litwick right now, so... Lots of hop and stuff around here, too. Those are too weak for... Lava right now. Need one more level yeah, on him. That's true. Uh, let's see. Oh, gloom. Perfect. That's on level 23. That uh, should still be okay, XP. Being evolved. Yep, one hit. Beautiful. 700 XP almost. That's not too bad. Ladybug. All right, so let's see. I'm not seeing a lot of other Pokemon right now. A Caterpie. It's like all gold. Doubtful. <laughs> uh, that would be really hilarious for me to find a gold, uh, gold uh, Caterpie though. And then it turned out to be a pygmy one, too. Oh, jeez. It would be the tiniest little speck of gold. I'd say Magikarp and Caterpie. Those are the two Pokemon that will not evolve if they are shiny. Those are uh, those are the ballers. Also Geodude. Don't forget Geodude, man. Is he gold? Yeah, Geodude's gold. I did not know that. Yeah. Of course, his like, golem is pretty derpy looking shiny, but meh. I am not finding any Pokemon now. Is it because it's nighttime, maybe? I bet you it's nighttime. I bet you there's not a lot of nighttime spawns in the Sunflower area. So let's move into the Birch Forest for a little bit. Or forest, this isn't a Birch Forest. Um, 
I'm actually not seeing a lot of spawns at all. Which is funny, because I've been chilling around here a lot, so I figured that they would start spawning. I can hear a gold bat, I don't see it. Oh jeez, that's right, I saw the night vision on, so that we could see at the bottom of the ocean. All at the bottom of the ocean. I was like, why did it get so much darker all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, I'm also direct... I am in an area with an adjacent forest, sunflower plains, and flower forest. I could have a Celebi or a Rayquaza spawn. I don't think the forest has a legendary spawn. I could be wrong. I also, I would love to catch a Mew so that I can make a Mewtwo. I would love to do that on camera. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> Fortress. Fortress is a, just bug a bug. Steel. Is it just a bug? Bug Steel. Ooh, well. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Get out of here, Litwick. I'm pretty it sure. It has Protect. Yeah, it's a Fortress. Uh, yeah, Flame Burst took half its health and it's like 20 levels higher. And all it knew was tackle. Or all it attacked with was tackle. You're lucky it didn't use Flame. explosion. I'm pretty sure they can use explosion. I know they can learn it, but I don't know if that one had it. Also, explosion is a normal move, I'm 90% sure. Oh, yeah. Maybe that yep. would Litwick. not affect. I don't know how that Litwick works, actually. Would... It... No, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't? It's still a normal move, yeah. Huh. It's not like typeless damage or anything. So I mean, it's still... true. I guess yeah. Pokemon huh. over here. I'd never actually thought about that scenario. Ghosts are great for taking down those kind of Pokemon. If you're worried, they might know it. You know, I haven't seen a boss Pokemon in a while, have you? No, I haven't. Hmm. I might tap the raid up on those just a tad bit without making it ridiculous on accident. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Legendary spawning every few minutes, what? Nonsense. Wow, I can sell Sludge Wave for 6200. Beautiful. Also, I still need to teach Venusaur Giga Drain real quick. Even though I'm pretty sure it learns it naturally, why not teach it early? Alright. So I now have a decent chunk of money. So I am going to stock back up on Ultra Balls since I did use several of those trying to take out Lugia. I actually didn't have to waste any... Ultra Balls on Kyogre. I pretty much exclusively used, uh, attempted to use Quick Balls. And I actually caught it after only, like, uh, I think it was five Quick Balls? Six, maybe? I don't know. I was still dealing with Lugia before it despawned. Yeah, I think it was about five or six Quick Balls, I'm pretty sure. Anybody that, you know, anybody watching this in a series row or whatever, you could go back and look at the previous episode and you can see how many Quick Balls I had and how many I have now. So, that's how many. <laughs> I am this. Oh, well, I did, I did also... Oh, that's not true, though. I also used a couple on Lugia, so... Yeah. Yeah, I, I really don't think there... There may be, but I'm not seeing anything but, like... I, all, so far, all I've seen in the Sunflower area at night is spin a rack. Uh... Sunflower area can have Rattatas, uh, spin a rack, Jump Luff, oh, yeah, Diplume, Pop Ip. At night? At night. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure jump up and all those are daytime. I see a pincer, ratata, area dose, oh, spin rack. Really? I didn't know pincer could spawn here. Yeah. Um, I see a survivor, but no, that's planes. Yeah. These are planes. Wiggly tough. Wiggly tough. Sure, that's a sunflower one. I I am in the middle of a huge sunflower paint. <laughs> sunflower planes. So yes. Interesting. Letty Ba, Letty I'm going Ann. To move, I'm going to move a little bit closer to the flower forest. That way I've got an equal chance of spawning either one, potentially. Not that I really want a Celebi. I mean, I probably wouldn't. I don't even know if I would use a Celebi, but it's nice to have. I like to collect things. Oh, there are two different sunflower planes here. One that's slightly smaller and one that's pretty damn big. Good old mossy stone to get me a leafy on. Mm mm mm. Uh, Gotta get that leafy. I'm sorry on. for that thing. I know, right? 
I don't think Glaceon's in a much better boat either. I don't think so. Which uh, sucks, because I like Glaceon. I I really want to say that it was... Uh, that they buffed the stats on one of them, if not both, but I don't remember. I really hope that they did boost the stats, because boy, do they need it. I didn't really keep track of anything like that, so I don't know. I mean, I kind of the only thing that I really kept track of was when they changed moves and stuff like that. Yeah, I had a pincer, but it spawned in the flower forest. Ooh, area dose. That'll be good XP. Oh yeah, good damage. Oh yeah, speaking about Correct. stuff we did in the first episode, I do also remember now. Uh, at the time, I was, or I don't think it was in the first episode, but it might have been the second episode. I was mentioning something about uh, otaku. I was thinking of a, mm -hmm. the Japanese magazine Kotaku. Yep. Yep. That would make a lot more sense. Yes, it would. Because they usually get also my uh, my Litwick just tried to learn Memento. No, thank you. <laughs> Are you sure? No, I'm I'm pretty darn sure. <laughs> this this just takes me back to that freaking random lock all over again. I mean, not like Level you 34 would accidentally popcorn. use it. Yeah, totally not like I would accidentally use Memento and kill my Pokemon because I didn't realize what it did. Or Jigglypuff, it never really stood a chance against Litwick. See, I don't like having... When it comes to a ghost Pokemon, I don't like having a pure ghost Pokemon because then it can't hurt normal types. Yeah... Which is kind of annoying. And I mean, even if it gets a second typing, it still maintains its immunity to normal. So it's like win-win there. I mean, ghosts can learn other moves than just ghost type. I mean, sometimes. It just depends on the move and whatnot. I also want them to be able to have strong moves and whatnot. Like, Litwick has Flame Burst. It's OP. Is it Flame Burst? Fire Burst? Flame Burst, yeah. 70 power move. It's a little Litwick. So awesome. Uh, I'm definitely thinking it's due time for another shiny, though, like, for real. <laughs> I feel like it's been quite a while since a shiny. No. Considering, I mean, I know viewers don't really have a gauge for how long we play in between certain episodes. Like, I mean, obviously you can tell if I just stop an episode and pick back up. But at the same time, you know, if a bunch of time passes, you can't really tell how much time passed, how much time I spent derping around, so... It's been... Uh, it's been quite a while as since I game, got my been, shiny. What, like, probably 10, 11 hours, somewhere in there? It's, yeah, it's been a pretty good chunk of time since we've seen, since I saw the shiny. Oh lord, Scyther's getting pumped. Oh, oh, man, the crit knight slash... It had one HP left. One HP. How you say unlucky? Swineub, Swineub, get in there and finish this. And it almost killed Swineub with a quick attack. Oh, Swineub is evolving. Boo -doo -doo -doo. All right, it is time for some pillow swine. Who wants to come snuggle up to my pillow swine? Oh, what do I need for Mammoth Swine? I need it to know Ancient Power. So, I need it to learn Ancient Power right now, hopefully. Fury Attack, it learns Fury Attack. It did not learn Ancient Power. So how... Do I have to find a TM for Ancient Power? Is there even such a thing? Um, you might have to do Move Tutor. Oh, yeah, that might be a way, too, actually. I'm gonna say if this... That, or I might... I Maybe I have to breed it, potentially? I know that in, I'm, um... In, I'm pretty sure it can be bred. I know in Pokemon games, you can always go to the move relearner. Oh, that's true, yeah, but they don't have that in this. So I either need to find a move tutor that has ancient power, which I have seen one that some that have that, or I'm pretty sure that it can be learned through breeding, which I will get into breeding probably next episode, actually, so... Look forward to that in the next episode. I'll most likely get started on breeding. Hopefully we'll have caught our ditto by then, because we're wanting to start breeding with a ditto to make things easier. Um, and I'll, of course, I'll go into, like, the basic mechanics of Pixelmon breeding, and then I'll also go into, uh, you know, the more, not necessarily complex, but the more intricate Pokemon breeding rules and 
how to, you know, breed Pokemon together to get, like, certain combinations and whatnot. Uh, oh, a level 14 trainer. That should be an easy target. But he's, like, standing on the edge of a lava pool. Don't do it, man! Suicide's not the answer! Well, he just threw his Dawn fan into the lava. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what, a, what a trainer, man. What a trainer. Oh, God, Litwick's in the lava now. Wait, fire does that type. make it stronger? <laughs> exactly, it's fine. It's fire type. The flame on its head gets, like, massive. I'm wanting my Litwick. Oh, wow, he gave me, like, nine. Oh, 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 it burns. I'm it burns. I fell in the lava. Quick, to the water. Oh. Oh, I did not mean to fall in the lava. Jeez. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> that was painful. Face it, just about every single person who's ever played Minecraft has fallen into lava at some point. If you, yeah, I will say right now, if you try to tell me in the comments that you have never fallen in lava before, I call shenanigans. If that is the case, then you have either never played Minecraft or you have only played for a couple of hours. I just, I, I just can't believe it otherwise. Man, this is making me think of that one or one time whenever I was playing Dark Souls Two and I fell in the lava. Oh man, that sounds like a bad day. I mean, you don't survive. I mean, that's like insta death. I was gonna say that's like insta death, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, because realistically, that's how lava works. There was you one just die. There was one time whenever it was my own fault because I was trying to do a little parkour puzzle to get a some loot. It wasn't worth it. Uh, it usually isn't. And then the other time, the one where I accidentally fell in, I was uh, fighting some guys that have katanas, and I was farming them so I could get a katana because yeah. it's a pretty Makes good sense. weapon. And uh, I dodge rolled to the side and fell right off the ledge, because for anyone who knows Dark Souls, Ouch. they don't give you invisible walls. <laughs> they, don't, they don't give you anything. <laughs> you mess up, they punish you immediately. Yep, Dark Souls is that hardcore. Well, I love it. Hmm. I think I see a trainer I'm going to murder. <laughs> Level 11, you poor child. Wow, it actually did, like, 30 damage to my Litwick. Litwick doesn't have much defense, does it? Um, I don't think it does, no. Oh, no, mine does. Mine is a tanky Litwick. Ah. Its physical attack is terrible, though. You think it's not like, a physical if I learned attacker? A physical move. Yeah, I was gonna say, if I was to learn a physical move, it would be absolutely worth it. Ooh, a little 50 jump up. Yes. Give me your XPs. Why can't I hit you? There. Give me your XP's. U turn? I don't even know what that does. Ha! Huh, flame body. Uh, GG. Well, if it wasn't wild, what it does is it's, uh. It's like Volt Switch. It lets you swap into a different Pokemon after you use it, I'm pretty sure. And no synthesis. <laughs> I'm hexing it now. Yep, I'm hexing it now. No more games. It's a good thing that it's burned. Dead. 4,000 XP. Amazing. Two levels. That was beautiful. That what level big. does Litwick evolve to Chandelure? Like 40? Jeez. I have no idea. I mean, considering it's a triple evolution Pokemon, I didn't expect the first Evo to be so late. I know that the third Evo is through a stone, but still. It's pretty nuts. I see a jump puff I'm going to. Hey, how do you think I feel? I'm jump training jump. a bug that evolves at level 40. It's a bug type. But to be fair, it's only an evolution. I mean... Oh, bugs evolve early. That's their thing. <laughs> that is kind of their thing, which does make that funny, actually. Although I think when it evolves, it drops the bug type, actually. Does it? I want to say... No, Drapion's a bug, isn't he? I want to say he's dark. Is he? That's interesting. Hold on, I'll double check. Maybe that's maybe that's why he doesn't. Yeah, he's uh, dark poison. Or, uh, maybe that's why they made him not evolve so early then. Because I remember uh, I used to always think he was uh, dark ground, um, hmm. 
and then I finally started Martin, remembering he, he definitely was dark keeps poison. the poison. He's a scorpion. I mean, come on. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you, you scorpion. You find drapions in like the desert, which is why I always associate it with ground. Oh, I don't know. The drapions, but I mean, it's a scorpion, yeah, which is why actually, you find it in the desert. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Also very true. Ah, screw that. I'm going back out in the Sunflower Plains, man. I need another jump off. Need more than jump bluffs. Need my jump bluff fix. Hmm. Not seeing any though. Found some skip it's an bluffs. Awful shame. I'm, I haven't been seeing any of those anymore either. Found one skip bluff and one jump plume to do. No. Wow. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that those names one, did not come out one right. One skip bluff and one jump bloom. <laughs> remember, remember when you said? Hey, you, to you be fair, to, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. To be fair, jump bluff looks more like a balloon. So, jump bloom makes as much you sense said as loom, jump bluff. Though. You know what I mean. Like you said the other uh, episode, you English good. I English good. Thank you. Oh, man. I do stuff like that all the time. I think I might have dyslexia. Michael, and you call Michael Cameron all the time, so. I blame that on hereditary issues. I mean, that totally doesn't run in our family. <laughs> uh, to be fair, to be fair. I do that a lot. I don't know why that makes it fair, but I do. I, I don't either, but all right. I am not seeing any more, though. I, I really have only seen, like, one skip loom and one jump loaf. I am starting to think that I have dyslexia when talking. I don't even know if that's a thing or if it's called something different or what. I don't have any problem reading stuff. Or writing or anything like that. It's just when I say things, I like to reverse... Where they go for Actually, some reason. I usually don't reverse things, but a lot of times I just talk too fast in my head, and then that causes me to stutter. As or people have heard. Be, ooh, ooh, ooh. green Spiro. Although green is not the level that I wanted, I need. I'm pretty sure green is the weakest, isn't it? Uh, I, I don't remember them colors. Uh, who's my Pokemon to take? The, let's try Larion. Actually, let's just bring out Kyogre because it's going to be scaled off Kyogre anyway. Kyogre hasn't gotten to see any action yet, so ancient power, because I forgot it knew that. One hit. That'll do, baby. And I'm pretty sure That'll green do. is the weakest, because it was only five levels higher. Yeah, I got yeah. a sport ball and a fast ball. No, wait, I had the fast I got a great ball and a sport ball. Uh, not too bad. I need at least a blue Pokemon to get a dust stone. And that's uh, a blue, lucky. red, or yellow. Yeah, that's if I get lucky. I mean, it's gonna come down to luck no matter what anyway. I can't really force it otherwise. And I'm going to murder a Wiggly... Wow, Wigglytuff can actually use saw Sing on you. On uh, Litwick. See, yeah, I knew there were some normal type moves that worked on ghosts. Status moves, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I'll so remember I said I was playing Skyrim one. earlier? Yep. I uh, actually did something I had never done in Skyrim before, and that is... Uh, oh, it's you know, bound to happen. Yeah, but you know how whenever you first uh, run into Markarth and that lady gets murdered? Yep. I saved, saved her. her. Yep. I had never done that before. <laughs> I have actually, yeah, I have actually done that before. I was like, you know what? None of this. Yeah, see, I, I walked into Markarth and I hadn't played Skyrim in so long, I forgot that happened. And, like, I walked in and I was like... Wait, isn't she you about to... thought you were to... under attack. No, oh, okay. And then she got stabbed, and so I reloaded the save real fast, because I was like, can I actually save her? And then pulled out my bow, shot him in the back, and the, you know, he turns around to kill me, and the guard took him out. And I was like, oh. And then she's like, yeah, I was going to give this to my uh, sister, but you can have it now. I'm like, oh, cool. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, there's actually a thing for it, because they expect somebody to do it sooner or later. And now That's one I'm of the things I like so much ball. about. Oh, boy. Got to get that mace. That is one of the things that I do like so much about, like, Bethesda games, is they 
they prepare for a lot of eventualities in the end. They, they didn't prepare Oblivion for multiplying pork chops until the game crashes. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's that's has to do with a buggy game necessarily. That's not like an eventuality. Yeah. They are known for their games having some pretty hilarious bugs. I mean, that happens a lot. Uh-huh. There are always yeah, like chops. so many. They they do so many patches for their games after they release though. To be fair, though, their games generally don't have, like, any significantly troublesome yeah, and I mean, let's face it, with <laughs> how big their games are, there's bound to be yeah, something. If, right? Yeah, like, we're talking massive games here. You cannot expect those to go bug-free like that. It's just not going to happen. And then if the developer doesn't end up fixing it, then, well, the mod community steps in and they fix it. So, you know, it works out. And I'm not saying that the developer should rely on the mod community to do it, but, you know. I feel like they, like, not that they dropped the ball with Fallout 4, but I feel like it could have been more, honestly. I mean... It's it's a lot of fun, and I've really enjoyed playing it and everything, but I also feel like... I don't know, I feel like they didn't do anything really innovative with it. You know what I mean? I can kind of see that. I, I will say, they improved the melee so oh, yeah, yeah. much. Oh yeah, melee way better. Melee, like melee, was okay in uh, the other Fallout's. Like if you were specked into it really hard, but um, and this one, melee is really awesome. But yeah, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed Fallout Four, but I can see where you could say you know it's missing some stuff. But I mean, at the same time, I didn't start playing Fallout until Three in New Vegas were already out and they had all their DLC. So that's yeah. partially why I can feel, or I feel that way because I played both the like game of the year, so I had all the DLC and it was just ridiculous. Oh yeah. Um, I definitely look forward to seeing uh, the final product. I guess you could say with all the DLC included. It'll be yeah. interesting. They have they have dropped one DLC so far, which I haven't actually tried yet. So you know, if I if I say something that doesn't sound right, well then you know you can feel free to tell me in the comments, but. Um, it didn't really look like it added a lot to the game. Like, it looked like a really short DLC. Then again, I've, a lot of the Fallout DLCs aren't necessarily huge or anything, I've noticed. Um, they're definitely not, like... I feel like the, the expansions and whatnot, the DLCs they do for Elder Scrolls, tend to be much larger in scope than the Fallout ones. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, uh, what was it, Hearthfire? Well, that was, I mean, that was just adding player homes. It was. Come on. To be fair, I think it, to be fair, I think it was also cheaper than the other deals. Oh, yeah, it was only like five bucks. Yeah, so to be fair, they, you know, they charge an appropriate amount for their DLCs is the thing, too. Not some ridiculous number like some developers. I would say, like. Definitely not naming any names there. (laughs) I can't necessarily say uh, too uh, many things about Fallout that are bad. Uh, and I mean, like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed the game, but Elder Scrolls has always been more my cup of tea. I love oh, medieval yeah. combat. Oh yeah, just... absolutely. The fantasy stuff will really appeal However, to me I will more. say, shotgun and Fallout, always fun. <laughs> oh yeah, it always works great. That's my that's my constant go-to weapon anytime anything gets any work close to me. I have to, to ask, uh, assault or double barrel? Uh, so far I've been using the double barrel one. Uh, me, one I, I went through and started another playthrough. I had an assault and I had a double barrel, and I always went to the double barrel. I mean, I mean, yeah, I pretty much use the double barrel almost exclusively because I only use it when stuff gets really close to me, and I just can't. I need to kill it like really fast, so I just rely on those two shots to just bring it down. You know? Yeah. I'm sure the assault shotgun can do just as fine, but you know. Oh yeah. Mostly, I just, you know, stick to my sniper rifles and pistols at mid-range, and then I rely only on the shotgun when they try to jump on me like ghouls. I usually end up using the shotgun a lot on ghouls, because, man, they are fast and fall out Oh, forward. Jesus, the first time I ran into one of those... I, they are terrified. The very first time you ever see them in Fallout 4, you were just like, oh, dear God! Yeah. You feel like Krillin. Yeah. There was, is definitely a feeling of just a ding counter going on. <laughs> right? I mean, they just, like, pounce on you, which is cool. I love that they did that. Yeah. 
like I do feel like ghouls should be as agile as they make them out to be in Fallout 4. They seem like they could be. I don't, I still right. forget well, the uh, time I ran into the stunted Yao Guai the first time. That oh, man, those things are mean. <laughs> Jeez. You want to talk about a mean bear, man? Skyrim's bears ain't got nothing on those things. No, the saber do though, and the trolls. That they do. Sabertooths are pretty mean. Uh, trolls aren't too bad. If though. you're using I fire mean, magic, they down. aren't. Yeah, <laughs> that now, is true. Now see, I, I always <laughs> equip a fire magic in the offhand to take one down. Now you see, I am uh, currently playing an assassin because I have the new life <laughs> mod installed, and I start out in the uh, Dark Brotherhood. Yeah. So uh -huh. I am using daggers and bows only, really, and soon to be a mace because danger weapon. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. But yeah, so I luckily I didn't actually engage it in combat. I was just using sneak attacks with my bow. But I was just like, I I give up. I just walked away. I could not bring it down. <laughs> I'm done, sir. I can see it and I leave. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, well, uh, unfortunately, I don't want the episode to run any longer than it has. So. I am going to have to go ahead and end things here. I feel like we got a pretty good amount done, actually. We got quite a few levels on Litwick. Um, stocked back up on Pokeballs, except for Quick Balls. I'm going to have to go back to the base and restock on those. So, hopefully, hopefully I can catch the next Legendary spawn catch on camera. It just kind of depends on where we're at, because if I'm still in the middle of processing stuff from the previous episode, I can't really go in and start recording for the next I'm calling episode, it now. So. You're going to end this and then it's going to spawn it's, over here in the Sunflower Plains. It's very likely, and I, unfortunately I can't do anything about it because I have to process the audio and stuff before I can move on to the next one. There's just no way I can do both. So, unfortunately that is the case for that and that has been the case so far with most of the spawns, unfortunately. But, either way, uh, thanks guys for watching and please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.